you ever work Sandman? You never had to work Sandman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did? I, yeah, it, it's actually when we use the fucking uh, stiff shot, he's in the corner of that shot. Sandman? Yeah, the graphic. When I'm like, that's, yeah, that's Sandman oh, right oh, there. Oh, right, right. Stiff shot. Yeah, that is him. Not oh, shit. So, so I'm, working, I'm working Sandman, and um, <laughs> we have like a, a, a hardcore match. I've never, uh-huh. I've never worked with him before in my life. Don't really know the guy, but I'd seen him on fucking because I used to like watch that uh, ECW on Sunshine. Yeah, when I was down here in Florida, I always thought it was it was good to get fucking stoned to. So, uh, so Sandman does this fucking game. We get we get a ladder, and I'm laying on my side now. He's like, "What the fuck is he doing?" And all of a sudden, he goes up to the, like the top rope, and he gets the ladder. And like, oh, he's gonna ride that motherfucker down. I mean, like, how the fuck is that not gonna hurt? And all of a sudden, just like, wham! I'm like, motherfucker. Somebody's got to have that fucking, I think I get up and hit him with a fucking fire extinguisher. I kicked him. I was like, you motherfucker. Like, you know how much money I made? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that wasn't God. on Hack's mind there. No, yeah. he was like, get over. He played like, that at, at duel of the butcher. Come in and beat somebody with a kendo stick. Beat, if you're going to beat him, beat him to death. Just get over, brother. Heck, um, he was in a feud with with Mick Foley and um, in ECW, and and Mick Mick went to Todd and said, "Listen, I I can't I can't go out there if he's this loaded every night." So they told Hack, "Just you know, d- drink after. Don't, don't go to the ring load." So of course he gets in the ring and cuts the Euro Pussy promo before the match, which wasn't appreciated by anybody. But they work in the match. Todd's standing next to Paulie, and they eventually look at each other and go, "This match sucks." <laughs> they never asked him to work sober again. Right? You clearly got him after that. Um, there was. When did they start testing? For what? Steroids? In WWE. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not steroids. For for illicit... Uh... I, I came in in 93, and there was absolute no uh, tolerance for for, for uh, any cannabis or, you know, anything. It, it, you could, uh, if you didn't have a, a script for whatever was in your uh, body uh, as far as prescription drugs, uh, you were fucked, and if you... It was basically alcohol and pills if you had a script. So, oh, yeah, because I think I think probably around ninety two is when that all started, and uh, that would make sense then. So they tested everything. They t- tested pot, pills, obviously coke or anything like that, right? Roids. Roy, oh, roids, right? Yeah, roids was huge because yeah, they it was changing. Through, they were go- well, they were going through that steroid. That trial. was the scandal. Yeah, that was the the trial yeah. time. So, who are the road agents <laughs> doing the testing? <laughs> no. Fucking, they bring in a, a D. Pasqu- D. Pascal, Mauro the, D. Pascal, the, the, yeah. the doctor. Yeah, he was he was the one in charge of it, and he, they did. Um, it was very expensive too because they did like that. It was um, what was it called? No, it was some kind. It wasn't like a normal piss test. It was almost like it was like. Uh, like it was very expensive. The way they processed. Yeah, it, like, mean, it yeah. was like you know, the chance you get get you know, but like if you you know. Back in the day, it was like, you know, dip your finger in bleach 15 times, let it dry, and then when you do your, your piss test, piss on, piss on your hand. Yeah, this wasn't going to work. Right. So. We're, um, we're, uh, the, now what about WCW now? So, uh, when you get well, there. 96? Yeah. Is there any test? Fucking spring break, baby. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I guess. Yes, that wasn't happening in WCW. Me, me and Scott's MO was we'd, we'd get to fucking Nitro. Whatever arena we were in, we'd go to the fucking very, very, very top row. And if there was a door here and a door here, we'd sit right in the middle of it. And we'd go up there and fucking burn one. To start, you know, cause you'd be there at 11 o'clock. It's like, fuck, man, let's be stoned, you know, especially if we, we, you, you knew you're not fucking working. It's like, let's just... Get stoned and once fucking Mosh and Hogan get here with the beer, we'll fucking start on that. Right. That was a great thing about you know about about Hogan, man. Him and Mosh, like, there was always fucking beer on ice in their room, in their yeah. in their locker room. So, well, so the long the long production days you're talking about for WCW, um, these were for Nitros. Yeah. 
Had to be there at 11? You had to be there at 11 at fucking for uh, WWE. What, for interviews? No, uh, just to fucking round your ass up and make you miserable. I was going to say, you don't go on until fucking 8. Well, you got to rewrite the show 37 times. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, yeah. So. it doesn't work for me, brother. Yeah. 